Adding prints and texture to small pieces of furniture is a great way to make an old piece feel new again. And what better place to show you how to do this than Catherine Ireland's showroom. You'll need a piece of furniture, mine's a stool, fabric, spray glue, a hammer, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a Sharpie, a staple gun, staples, foam batting, and a cutting mat. You're gonna start by taking your stool and placing it on top of the foam batting in the center. Now you're gonna take a Sharpie and you're gonna draw along the edge. So now you have an outline of your stool. Next, you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and you're gonna cut out the circle. You wanna be sure to have the mat underneath so that you don't ruin the surface you're cutting on. It might take a couple rounds with your X-Acto knife to cut all the way through the batting. Now you're gonna take out the circle of batting and we're going to spray glue it onto your Now you're going to set this stool aside and you're going to select the fabric you want to use. And right now what you're going to want to do is cut the amount you're going to be using to cover the furniture. And one trick that works really well is to take the outline of the batting and just sort of cut around it because you know that that's going to be enough fabric. It's always best to have a little too much than not enough. So you want to flip your fabric upside down. Take your stool, place it in the center. And now we get to use the staple gun. So now you're gonna start by pulling the fabric tightly and you're gonna staple it in place. And you're gonna continue to do this all around the edge. If the staples aren't going all the way in, you can use your hammer. So now the fabric is secure and there's staples all around the edge and they're all hammered down so they're flat. So I'm going to go now and trim all of the excess fabric. So once you've finished trimming, you're done. Pin your fabric inspiration on Pinterest and then submit the link in the comments below.